Hello, welcome to the first tutorial about the AG granular suite. In this tutorial I will explain the function of each module and also tell you how to connect them together in order to start generating some sound. The patch which I have opened on the screen here uh, is included with the package so you can uh, open it yourself and follow what I'm doing on the screen. First we should check the DSP settings. Uh, it's important to have the scheduler in overdrive and in audio interrupt options on and this is to enable sample accurate grain triggering. The next thing to do is to load some samples. Uh, you can do it in the control panel of the engine module by dropping files here or a whole folder here. However, I will load the samples from a list uh, by clicking the message here. This way I loaded uh, 97 samples and at the same time I triggered the get FTMIDs message which causes the engine to send the sync message through its middle outlet. You can also trigger the sync message by pressing the run button here. You only need to do it once when you load the patch or whenever you add a new module which you would like to be synced to the engine. So just to quickly explain uh, what syncing actually means and why we need to do it. It's because the whole suite is designed in a way that the only module which actually generates audio is the engine uh, and the other modules just operate on the grain parameters. So when you press the sync button the engine tells the other modules where its grain parameters are stored and then the other modules can read from this place or write into it. As you can see, I color-coded the connections in the patch. So the orange uh, ones are, uh, as I said before, for the sync message. The blue ones are for trigger messages. And the white ones are for OSC messages. There's also one green connection between the engine and the multi-output module. And this one is for audio, but it is a special type of uh, audio cable uh, which is a Jamoma multi-cable which allows you to send up to 32 channels on one connection. In this case we're using only 16 since the engine has a 16 channel output. Okay, so uh, before we start talking about the other modules, let's listen to some audio examples. First we need to turn the engine module on and then we load some presets from here. <laughs> As you probably noticed, I was loading the presets from the control module. So this is the module that actually controls how the grains are being generated. It has three different uh, ways of triggering grains. One is a metronome with a variation parameter that you can use to randomize the period of the metronome. The other one is a sequence player. Let's load the preset with a sequence. So while the sequence is looped, we can change its speed. You can either loop the sequence like we just did, or we, you can trigger it to be played just once.
The third option is to uh, trigger the grains uh, from, the, from an external source. If you switch it on, you can trigger grains manually. Or you could have a metronome connected uh, to it or, for example, an external MIDI controller. All parameters of the control module can be set in this control panel, which you can open by clicking this uh, button here. Uh, but this is a subject for a whole uh, tutorial, so we'll skip this for now. Next is the record module. And this one is used to record a stream of grain parameters. Uh, this stream can be then played back in order to uh, resynthesize the grains. In order to record, we first need to press the listen button, turn it on, and then this option here will make it wait until it receives the first uh, trigger before it starts recording. Now we press start and play something with the control module. Stop, save as, need to save it as text file, and now we can load it in the play module. Let's play. So the grains are being resynthesized exactly as they were played before. Uh, we can also change the speed, for example, let's put four times the speed and look at The last module we are going to talk about in this tutorial is the modulate module and this one is almost identical to the control module but for each parameter it has an option to either replace the parameter the grain parameter value or multiply by the value that is generated in, in the module or you can add or bypass so for example you can uh, selectively modify just one of or a few parameters of the grains. This can be used to, for example, modify some of the grain parameters of the stream which is being played by uh, the play module. And how it works is that uh, the play module, uh, in order to generate a grain, first writes the grain parameter uh, values into the grain parameter vector and then triggers the engine to actually generate the grain. So if we send a bang to the modulate module just before the engine is triggered, uh, we can modify some of the parameters which have been set by the play module. Okay, so let's try it out now. I'm gonna set the loop within the sequence between 3 and 5 seconds. And I'm gonna turn on the external triggering on the modulate module. And let's play the loop. And in the control panel, we'll set the source to add and offset the parameter value. We can add some randomization. We can also modify the length. Let's shorten this.
and that's the unmodified sequence. And that's of our modifications. That concludes the first tutorial about the AG Grinor suite. I hope you got an idea of how the modules work together and that you'll be able to start experimenting with them on your own. Uh, remember that you can download them at audibledata.com. Just before we finish, I'd like to mention the module on top here, which I didn't talk about. It's a preset mix pad, uh, which is a graphical widget which allows you to control interpolation between multiple presets at the same time. And you can watch a demo of the preset mix part controlling the AG Granule control and engine modules on my YouTube channel.